Hello, hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to an edition of Subscribers Special. Um, this, if you haven't watched this before, this is where I basically get a puzzle that's been sent in by a subscriber and I try and solve it. Um, so these are like homespun puzzles by amateur setters. Um, and today's setter is Simon Garner, who's uh, not a stranger to the channel at all. I've solved a couple of Simon's puzzles already on the channel and great fun they are too. I remember a particular, particularly good one with... Um, it had a theme of Alfred Hitchcock, which was fantastic. Um, but now Simon, since he's done that one, Simon's moved on to mycrossword.co.uk as well, and uh, now he sets the crosswords there, uh, which makes my life a little bit easier than the previous uh, Excel stuff that we were doing. Um, but it's a similar format to most of the other videos that I do, where I'll basically be solving, hopefully, anyway, uh, a cryptic crossword and explaining my thinking and pointing out the wordplay and parsing the clues, that type of thing. So if you're completely new to cryptics, check out this uh, video just to start with. It's a 60 second video just to give you an idea of you know what cryptics are all about and describe the anatomy of a cryptic crossword clue. Um, if you're back for more from having watched previous videos, then welcome back. It's great to have you here. Um, and if you're subscribing as well, then that's fantastic. You know, the, the channel is growing. That's uh, great to see. Um, just before I start the video, let's... Um, or start to solve, I should say. Let's talk a little bit about Sunday and uh, a live stream that I do every Sunday at 8 p.m. UK time. Um, part, uh, on that live stream, I solve a, a cryptic crossword, usually Friday's Telegraph's crossword. Um, but we also have a new section now there where we solve, um, where I ask for people to send in their own cryptic clues um, that they've made up for the word of the week. And this week's word of the week is State Department. Yeah, we're, we're basically constructing a puzzle, uh, one clue at a time each week in in, uh, in the live stream. So we're in our third clue now. We've already uh, constructed one for orchestra and Northern Ireland, and now we've got State Department. So if you'd like to get involved in that, then send me an email with your clue. You just find the email address at the end of the video in the, or in the channel description. Um, but it's great fun, and uh, you know, your, your clue will be uh, highlighted in, in the live stream, and then people get to vote for which they think is their favorite clue, and then that will be included in the, in the actual crossword. But yeah, enough waffling on about that. Let's get on with the crossword today and see what Simon has in store for me. So, um, wish me luck. Okay, here we have the crossword. We're going to start. First thing I'll notice is the, is the grid format. Um, I did a, a similar type of format to this in, uh, in the week last week i think where you know a lot of the clues the starting letters of each clue don't have any aren't any checking letters so that can make it a bit tricky um to get going but um let's see how we get on anyway so let's start with uh six across here um market traders charge air to replace west african as head of people who encourage conflict wow a lot going on in that clue um Market traders charge Earl to replace. When there's a wordplay, I'm seeing um, either charge Earl or something to replace West African. West African, I'm assuming maybe it can be abbreviated to WA. And that's as head of people who encourage conflict. Um, when someone who encourages conflict, I'm just thinking of this market traders. Um, Someone who encourages conflict will be a warmonger. And I like the feel of that because it's got, it starts with W-A. So if this is something monger, and it's, uh, or mongerers even, so it's plural. So it, market traders is the definition. Um, so some sort of monger, like iron mongerers or something like that, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and type in mongers. Where, where would that start? M-O-N-G-E-R. So here, maybe? M-O-N-G-E-R. Mongers. Mongers or mongers? Mongers. What am I saying mongers for? It should be mongers, I think. Right? So just mongers, M-O-N-G. 
or warmonger. Is it warmonger or warmonger? <laughs> I've got completely, I'm not completely confused. Um, Yeah, I'm not really sure now. I'm completely confused. So i am tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave out this mongers bit because it should be a war monger, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, look at me waffling on. That's a <laughs> I'm sure you're absolutely shouting at the screen now. Um, Right, let's just go to 8 across, see if we can get anywhere with that instead. So 8 across is daughtery priest becomes one after death. What could be happening here? I mean, I think maybe dollary here is a um, anagram indicator. Six letters, priest. So maybe an anagram of priest becomes one after death. I can, th I can see sprite there. Sprite is like a, some sort of um, a spirit. Sprite. S-P-R-I-T-E. Sprite is a little thing, isn't it? Like a sort of magical thing. Not sure exactly what it is, but it, I'm pretty sure it works here with potentially anyway with one after death. I'm hopeful hopeful I'm right there. Okay, let's try nine across. Um nine across. Leaders of the opposition tried established bureaucracy and guidance to get a canvas carry all. Well that is a long clue, that one. Um, I'm drawn to this word here, leaders, because I'm thinking, you know, normally when you see leaders in a crossword clue, it means take the initial letters of, of words, more than one word as well. So I'm just having a look at the, at these words, if they say anything. T-O-T-E. Oh yeah, tote bag. A tote bag is a canvas, like, bag, isn't it? So we look at the initial letters of the opposition tried established bureaucracy and guidance gives us tote bag. I'm going to go with that. That's a nice clue. Oh, I'm going to go with that in the right place. This. There we go. Tote bag. Nice one, Simon. I like it. Cool. Right. Ten across. I'm a bit uh, wary of ten. Let's see. It's a long one, isn't it? Way before Chippendale, for example, items installed in public places. Way before Chippendale. There's two two examples of Chippendale I can think of. One is like antique furniture and another one would be a stripper. Uh, which is it? <laughs> um, items installed in public places. I'm try, still trying to work out where the word play is here because you could have a word for way before whatever this chip deal, for example, is. Or you could have like, items installed in public places. That could be also like a, a synonym for items, maybe in, in a synonym for public places, like squares or something. So I'm not really sure. Not sure what's happening there. So I'm going to have to come back to that one. I'm going to try two more crosses. I'll try 11 and 13, see what we get. Provide deal, maybe, for construction material. Um, well, conventionally, for is a, a link word between wordplay and definition. So, usually everything after the for is a, is a definition. So, construction material, I think we might be looking for here. And then, provide deal, maybe, is the wordplay. Um, And this deal, maybe, that's making me think we're not talking about an agreement, maybe some other use of deal. Um, don't know. Don't know. It's tricky enough, this Simon, isn't it? Let's try 13 across. Um, riled Ma rebuilt luxury transport. Okay, this feels like an anagram to me. That the rebuilt here is an anagram indicator, and it, the riled ma looks a little bit um, 
like fodder to me. So luxury transport we're looking for. Anagram of Riled Ma. Daimler. I'm going to go for Daimler. That's like luxury car. Yeah. Happy with that. Thank you. Nice clue, Simon. Nice surface there. Right, I'm going to switch to the downs to see if we have any more success with the old downs here. Um, one down. Desire found atop a church. Desire found atop a church. Um, hmm, not sure. Does a top mean something on top of something else? We got an A here as well, which is usually means it's in the clue and the answer. Church can be C H or C E. Desire found. So this feels wordplay this end and maybe this end is um definition, but I can't Cannot see that one. Right, let's try it two down. Two down. Internment camp where love is found in Stoke following confinement. Um, internment camp. I'm thinking some, it's not concentration, is it? No, it's not. Um, see, there's something found in Stoke following confinement. This, this feels like the definition. This feels like the wordplay at this end. Love can be an O. Where love is found in Stoke. There was an O in Stoke there. Um, no, not seeing that one yet either. Wow. This could be a, is this going to be a toughie? Let's see. Let's try three down. Non-professionals found in the midst of team at Eurostar. Yes, one that I can see. Hey, this is a hidden word clue. There goes the bell. So, the definition here is non-professionals. Finding the midst of is uh, the hidden word indication. Team at Eurostar is where we're hiding that word. And there we can see the word amateur. So, thank God we have something there. And an AM as well, that makes that interesting. Okay, good. Four down, let's go. Um, Stan not uneasily adapted straight away. Stan not uneasily adapted straight away. Feels like adapted as an anagram indicator. 15 letters, that's four, seven. Yeah, that's 15 letters there. This means straight away. Um, instantaneously, I think we're getting there. I think that's what I can see. Instant, instant, in, e, usly. There we go. Nice. Hopefully, I spelled that correctly. But that's that's pretty nice. Nice anagram, clear sound, brilliant. Cool. Five down. Let's go. After a fashion, ambivert takes it down word for word. After a fashion. Okay. I think this is an anagram. After a fashion being an anagram indicator. Anagram of ambivert takes it down word for word. I think this is verbatim, isn't it? That's nice. Very cool. Very nice, Simon. Good one. Okay. Seven down. Let's go. Um, it's what makes the Nutcrackers very sweet. Cool. This is a cool, this is like a cryptic definition, I suppose, maybe, but um, the fairy in the Nutcracker sweet is the sugar plum fairy. So this must be sugar. There's a G right there. So I'm going to go for sugar. Nice. Let's try six down. Making a better progress now. These are downs are a little bit more gettable than the crosses were, aren't they? London, maybe that's found atop a column. Here we have a top a, a top a again. 
Um, London is a capital. Could this be the definition? Capital, I think. I'm going to go with capital. Um, just from the London, maybe it's fine. A topic. I mean, is a, is a maybe this is an architectural feature. I'm not sure. That's on top of a column. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to go with it just because I can't think that London maybe looks like it would be referring to like a capital. Right. Nice. Let's go now. Where are we going to go now? I'm going to try this. Uh, that should be an E there, shouldn't it? That should be verbatim. Yeah. I'm going to go back to this mongers or mongers. Um, from what we got now, it's definitely mongers, isn't it? Okay, we got mongers. Now, what is the rest of this clue saying? So, charge Earl to replace. West African as head of people. Well, if it is war mongers, right, then that means there would be a W-A-R here. But we're getting rid of the W-A because we're replacing that with Earl. Which means the R is still here. I know Earl, I'm hoping, I think Earl can be abbreviated to an E. So the E goes here. Now what's that? Now we need a word for charge. There. I don't know what that word is. Charge. Fee. Um... Could be also could be charge as in like to run at as well, couldn't it? Like rush, that sort of word. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back and hopefully, hopefully get one down sometime somehow. Maybe we'll try it at ten across again and see what that's what that is now. Um. So this is the Chippendale thing. It does look like furniture. This is furniture of some description, isn't it? Now, what's this first bit? Items installed in public places. Oh, this is very nice clue. I've got this now. So way, it's basically way before Chippendale, for example. So Chippendale is furniture. Way is street. And street furniture is what you get installed in, in public spaces, isn't it? Nice clue, Simon. I like it. Like it a lot. Very good. Um, right. I'm still a bit nervous about these ones. I'm going to come back to them. I'm going to let my subconscious sort of think about them for a while. So let's try, see if we can get 14 down. We've got a letter there to start with. Um, See what it says here. 14 down. For example, former partner is enough. Well, former partner is AX. Oh, this is example. Yeah. Nice. So we have a like a it was a double definition. No, not double definition, what I'm saying. So we basically get the definition here is EG. And then former partners X. And enough is amp is enough is ample. Cool. Nice. Let's try twenty across since we have two letters there. Country club headgear used to remove lids. Country club used to remove used to remove lids. Or used to remove lids. Or is it this country club head here that's been used to remove lids? 
I have no idea what that is. Country club. I don't know. Let's try 18 down. Maybe that'll help. Smashed conquer. This answer is calculated. Okay, thank God for anagram clues. <laughs> you know, I say this a lot. I know, you know, especially if you're struggling in a crossword, try and find all the anagram clues because then they'll, they should be able to help you with lots of checking letters. So thanks, Simon, for putting an anagram clue here. This smashed here is the anagram indicator. We have a make an anagram of conquer, and uh, the definition I think is uh, calculated. There's so reckon. I think it's reckon. Oh, I keep typing in the wrong place. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that and put this as an A. There we are. Right, so let's go 20 across again now because we've got all the letters. Country club, headgear. Remove, it's going to be on something. And oh, I suppose country club could be the UN, couldn't it? That's nice. I like that, Simon. That's cool. Remove lids on caps would be to remove lids. And I suppose headgear is caps, isn't it? I suppose this used to is in linking really the wordplay and the definition. That's nice. I like the country club is UN. That's cool. That's cool. Cool wordplay there, I think. Brilliant. All right, let's try a 16 across. Um, well, Simon, give me a, you can't see it here, but there's a, like a little bit of instruction with this crossword that the, um, that 16 across should be, should read 11 4 rather than the 15 it says here. So it's, this is we're actually looking for two words here. So London location, visit here before paying income tax. Feels this feels like a monopoly question, don't it? Um, London location is something road, I would say. Thinking about monopoly board now, that's quite a big word. Whitechapel Road, I think that is. I'm going to go with that. That's definitely on a monopoly. Board. Is, it, is it the square just before income tax? Could be. Could be, but it fits nicely. It's definitely a London location, so I'm happy, happy with that one. Oh, it's 15 down. Let's go. Arrangement like this clue, I've just had to rest on the bed. Arrangement like this clue, I've just had to rest on the bed. What's like this clue mean? Oh. I think I have this. This is nice. Very nice. Simon, I like the wordplay here. So. Like this clue. This clue is a down clue. So, it's lay down, I think is the answer here. Lay down. Arrangement. Does arrangement mean lay? I've just had to rest on the bed. So that would be, you know, you lay down, you've just had to rest on the bed. Yeah, cool. Simon said he's, he's, um, he's provided some annotations as well for the wordplay. So when we get to the end, if I'm not 100% sure what the wordplay was, we can always look at the um, what he's written as notes and see see what he meant there. So I'll, I'll do that. I might do that for 15 down because I think it is lay down. I'm just not sure. Is arrangement lay? Not sure. Not hundred percent sure. All right, let's try 17 down. We got an H to start with there. Build up King to become overstimulated. Um, well, King is typically an R and then that's becoming overstimulated. So I think this ends in R. I think that must mean build up. King is the wordplay. Overstimulated. I think this is hyper. Nice clue. We got hype. It's build up. 
king is R, and that gives us to become over. That gives us overstimulated. Very nice, seven. Love it. Okay, nineteen across. Um, crooked peer Ned showed off. This has to be an anagram. Crooked being the anagram indicator. We're making an anagram of Pierre Ned, and it means showed off. I think this is preened. Preened. Showed off. Cool. Okay. 21 across. 21 across is dashing aisle reportable for PM. Well, okay, this is basically four. Here is, is the link word. We're looking for a Prime Minister of England from the past. Dashing is an anagram indicator. We're making an anagram of Owl Reportable. And I think I think this is Robert Walpole. I think I hope it's, yeah, it is Robert, isn't it? Not Rupert. Robert Walpole, Prime Minister of England. Once, was he the first Prime Minister of England? Um, General knowledge is going out the window, as we say. As, but um, definitely was a Prime Minister of England, maybe even the first one. I'm not 100% sure now. Um, cool. Good. Right, we're, look, this is looking much more like we're getting, feeling more confident we're going to get to the end of this now, if we can crack this top left. But let's try 12 down. Um, damp like Basel, maybe, in Yorkshire town. Damp like Basel, maybe in York. So, are we looking for a town in Yorkshire? I know there's lots of towns in Yorkshire. Ends with B B Y, maybe. Um, damp. Oh, this is lovely. Very nice salmon. So damp is wet. And then like Basel, maybe is Herby something, <laughs> a bit Herby. And we put that with wet. We get Weatherby, which is a, a town in Yorkshire. Very nice. That's really cool. Um, right, let's try 11 across again. Let's see if we can get that now. Really enjoying this. Seven is, that's a really, it's a lovely puzzle, actually. Um, 11 across. Provide deal, maybe, for construction material. Okay. Some sort of construction material. Um... I should say, I should have said as well, because I can see the notes just above this crossword, but 21 across was a 6-7. It was not 13, but six seven. 6-7. Um, right, back to this construction material. Plywood. Provide could be ply. Deal. With wood. Give us plywood construction material. Yes, I like that. Deal is a type of wood, isn't it? Or is it deal? I'm doubting myself now. But plywood fits nice. It looks looks nice. Right, let's go two down. Um, because we're not going to get any more help now. We got all the check-in letters. This is the internment camp. Center, that's center. Just look at the check-in letters. Um, detention center is the answer there. Deten detention center. We've been in internment camp for definite. Now let's see if we can work out the wordplay. Confinement, I suppose, is detention. Now, why is where love is found in Stoke Centre? Oh, yeah, I see now. That's cool. So, it literally is where, I think I even said this when I looked at it the first time. But love in cryptics can be abbreviated to an O from tennis where, you know, where love is a score of zero. And zero looks like an O. Therefore, you know, in cryptic world, O, zero equals O. Um, but look, in the word Stoke, O is in the center. I think that's what he's referring to there. Center is uh, in the center of Stoke. That's where he's found. That's following detention. 
Cool. Right. Just these two left. Let's try one down. Desire found atop a church. Let's look at how I'm reading this. I'm, at the moment I'm reading it as desire found and atop a church, but maybe it's... Is this a double definition? Maybe let's take if it's desire and then bound atop a church. So on top, what do you get on top of a church? Um, you get the spire, don't you? So I get. Was this a spire? So should that be five one? Should that be one five? Maybe because I can see desire would be to aspire. It would be desire, wouldn't it? Is this then um, aspire? You get aspire on top of a church, don't you? But it's an it's a spire. I like your thinking there. I'm just wondering if this should be should this be one five? Aspire. Not one hundred percent now. Right. We'll have a look at the notes for that one as well, I think. Right, six across here. Um, I just need to find a word for charge. Cash? No. A market trader. So it's not ironmonger or fishmonger. Or any other monger that I can't think of right now. It's it's this is a this is quite a weird word. Cast cast caster monger is that a word? Casher monger. Charge. I'm just trying to think what that word could be for charge. Um, I'm the, I'm the, this is the key word letter here. I'm looking just to see what letters could go there. I mean, in terms of this being a four-letter word for charge, there's not the many, many letters that can go there. Um, after the S, could be an E. An H. A K. Cask. A cask doesn't mean charge, does it? Um, L, M... A cusp. Another S cusp. No. T. T would have cast. The cast of sugar. But it doesn't mean charge, does it? E. I cost cost oh cost means charge could mean charge I suppose cost I like um I've no idea what a coster monger is but I like the idea of cost being charge here so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it cost coster mongers right you maybe sweat there. Simon, so I'm gonna. I'm now gonna check the grid. So check grid, and then you can't see it, but it says a uh, confirm check grid. So I'm gonna click that now, and then 
If nothing changes, that means you've got it right. So let's see. Not reveal grid. Check grid. Check grid. Confirm check grid. Yes. Oh, well. We did get there. So costermonger. What is a costermonger? I never heard that word before. Um, there's a few we wanted to just check the wordplay for then because I don't think I, I give you the, the justice there. Um, Simon, I want to see one down. Um, to see how that works, the aspire. So let me see if I can um annotated solutions. I was I'm gonna. There's a link here. I can click on annotated solutions. So. As you can see, I've got two. I've actually got two screens. I've got two grids here, but hopefully you can see these now. So I think you can read that, can you? Well, I'll read them out then. Anyway. I just want to see what the. Uh, I just want to see what what the the explanations are for these. Cool. Right. Let's try. So we have let's go cost among us to start with. So. It is cost among us, so yeah, we got the, the everything was right there. So cost was charge. Cost among us, what are cost among us? Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna look up what a cost among us is because that's such an interesting word. Cost among us, one who sells food, vegetables, fish, or other goods from a cart, borrow, or stand in the streets, or a hawker of fruits and vegetables. Um, an apple seller, a hawker or dealer of any kind of fruit or fruiter. There we are, costermonger. Interesting, I've learned a new word there. Thank you, Simon. That's cool. I want to try to have a look at one down, see what the what's happening with one down. Um, okay, so one down we've got. So desires aspire, and then found atop a church. A spire. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I suppose if if the definition is desire, then it is six letters, isn't it? Whereas a spire is is one five. So yeah. Okay. If if we're looking at the definition of desire, then six letters makes sense. Should have thought about that before. What about what was the other one? Lay down. That was fifteen down. I was trying to see. Um, so 15 down arrangement like this clue. Okay. So arrangement equals lay. Okay. So that's what, that's what we were going for. Arrangement is lay. Um, and then down like this clue. This is a down clue. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What was the other one? Deal. I want to see why deal 11 across. Um, provide is ply, deal is a type of soft wood. Oh, there we go. So ply plus wood gives us plywood. Nice, very nice. Um, really enjoyed that, Simon. That was really good. Please let let Simon know what you think as well of his efforts, and you can see. I don't. Can you see it now? If I um, let me just close this. Uh. Simon's name on my crossword is Auti Artist, A U T I A R T I S T. So go and check him out on mycrossword.co.uk. Um, he probably has other, well, I think he definitely has other um, crosswords there. And uh, no, it's a, mycrossword.co.uk is a brilliant website. It's what we're using for the, uh, the Construct Our Crossword in the live stream as well. Um, just a reminder of that as well. Here you go. State Department is the clue of the week. Come up with a cryptic clue for clue for the State Department. Um, but yeah, Simon, that was brilliant. I really enjoyed that that crossword. Thank you for sending that in. If you've got any, if you like to try your hand at making a crossword and want me to try and solve it, I love doing these things. I'm all for it because I think it's twofold. Really, obviously, we can still discuss. Uh, you know, wordplay and I can still help people understand cryptic crosswords, but I think it also helps the setters too. It's quite nice to see someone try and solve your crossword and then, you know, maybe the clues that you thought were straightforward weren't as straightforward as you thought or 
the ones you thought were tricky where maybe you get them really straight straight away so it can give you some nice feedback as well um so yeah please if you wanted me to try and solve a crossword for you send send it send me a link um my this my crossword.co.uk is a great place to, to do it there's a few other websites as well but this is a great one so I'm I'm all, all, all up for trying to do this and uh, solve uh, sort of amateur setters uh, crosswords. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the watch. Like I can say, let Simon know how you did and what your thoughts are on his crossword in the in the comments. And uh, give it a like and a subscribe and share far and wide. Um, and obviously got buy me a coffee as well if you want to support the channel that way. But I shall see you again soon. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.